Being the Library Manager of Tina, Part 1, Adding a Simple 5-Terminal Operational Amplifier to the Library. Tina has large libraries containing SPICE models provided by semiconductor manufacturers such as analog devices, Texas Instruments, and more. You can add more models to these libraries or create your own SPICE library using Tina's Library Manager, LM. Let's see how to add a SPICE model to Tina's SPICE libraries. In our tutorial, we will add the 741 operational amplifier. Start the Library Manager using the Start menu of Windows 10. Click the Tina Program folder. Then select the Library Manager. Click the File menu. Select Collect Subcircuits and Models. In the dialog, find the Example Spice folder in the Program folder where Tina is located. You can, of course, navigate to any other locations. In the dialog, select UA741.CIR Amplifier Model. Press the Next button. The list of all available files in the selected folder will appear. Select UA741.CIR. Note that the file you select must be a proper SPICE subcircuit. In the middle of the dialog, there are four buttons available helping the selection of the files. Click the button on the top with the greater than symbol on it. The UA741 model you have selected will appear on the list of selected files. You can select more files in a similar way. Or, all the files by clicking the second button from the top with a double greater than symbol. You can remove the selected files from the list by clicking the third button with the less than symbol. Or all files by clicking the fourth button with a double less than symbol. Let's just select the UA741.CIR file then click Next. With this dialog box, you can make changes in the subcircuit or model name. This might be necessary to avoid conflicts among different subcircuits or model versions with the same name. Let's add the suffix my, for example, then press OK. The content of the new model will appear. The new name of the subcircuit has a suffix my, UA741 underscore my. The new subcircuit model will be stored in a new library. In this example, the new library will contain just our subcircuit name UA741 underscore my. See Part 2 for a more complex library. Now, just save our new library. Now select File, Save As. Save the new library under the name my-741.lib. The library will be automatically saved in the SPICE lib folder under Documents Design Saw Tina Industrial. Click Save. Now, from the File menu, select Create Tina Library Description. This is a catalog file describing the entries in a .lib file. Click for SPICE Models and Subcircuits. You can leave the manufacturer's field as suggested, or you can change it. Let's write the name. My Spice Library. Click OK. The content of the new catalog will be displayed in a new window. Now select File, Save As.
save it under the name my underscore 741.tld in the SpiceLib folder. You can check the saved files by selecting the file Open File. Note that the .lib and the .tld files of the same library must have the same file name, like shown on the screen. Close if it was open and reopen Tina. The following message will appear. New library detected. Library must be recompiled. It may take a few minutes. Continue. Click Yes to add your library to Tina's libraries. If the new library is not detected, from the Tools menu, select the Recompile Library command. Now, click the Spice Macros tab and select Operational Amplifiers on the Component Toolbar. Click the Manufacturer label to find My Spice Library. Select the UA741 underscore MY and click OK. The selected macro will be attached to your cursor and you can place it anywhere on the workspace. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud the cloud-based multi-language installation-free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.